Interacting with Existing Orders, Module 5. This module will cover how to interact with existing orders. All orders placed on a patient are viewable via the Order Profile screen. This is accessed by clicking on the Orders section of the main menu. The current screen displays all orders, all statuses, therefore you will see orders that have been completed or discontinued along with active orders. You will also notice various icons associated with each order. The hospital icon identifies a hospital order. The eyeglasses appear next to an order that has not yet been reviewed by a nurse. The mortar and pestle icon indicates an order that has not yet been verified by a pharmacist. The hourglass with lock denotes an order that is due to expire. The caduceus symbol represents an order requiring physician co-signature. One final icon is the yellow square indicating the order is part of a power plan. Let's talk about interacting with an individual order. Actions you can take on an existing order are modify, cancel reorder, or cancel DC. To do this, right-click on the order sentence and select the action. Here at Shure Medical Center, order modification is only allowed on an IV fluid rate. Any order requiring changes other than an IV rate change are to be discontinued and a new order placed. Let's modify our IV rate from 125 mL per hour to 83 mL per hour. Right-click over the IV order and select Modify. Place your cursor to the left of mL per hour, backspace, and retype the desired rate, 83 per hour. Click Orders for Signature, Sign, and Refresh. The Cancel Reorder function cancels the existing order and adds a new instance of the same order. Here at Shure Medical Center, Cancel Reorder is only allowed when order details will remain exactly the same as in medication renewals. Notice this medication is due to expire. If you choose to continue the medication, keeping the same dose, route, and frequency, you would right-click on the order, select Cancel Reorder, click Orders for Signature, Sign, and Refresh. To discontinue an order, simply right-click over the order and select Cancel DC. The discontinue reason defaults in as Canceled by Physician. Click Orders for Signature, Sign, and Refresh. Let's talk about the process for discontinuing a power plan. Rather than discontinuing each individual order in your power plan, the entire plan can be discontinued at once. All power plans for your patient are listed under the View section of the Order Profiles screen. Locate the plan you would like to discontinue, right-click, and select Discontinue. The components of the power plan will display. Should you wish to keep any order active from within the plan, place a check in the box next to that order. Click Orders for Signature, Sign, and Refresh. There may be a situation where you have entered a power plan in error. From the View section, right-click on the plan and select Void. Click Orders for Signature, Sign, and Refresh. This concludes Module 5.